First of all, Jack Krenz Cripps asks, what's the key to being a good rugby player? I think with any rugby player you need to love what you do. I think uh, you spend a lot of uh, moments and, and time out on the pitch, whether it be training, and you need to thrive in that. And I think the competitive attitude within you, that's ultimately what comes out. And, you wanting to be better than your opposition and uh, striving forward. Jamie Karma, let's ask, who's got the best banter in the team and who tries too hard? I'd say banter, I'd say Hess can be pretty funny at some times. Um, Danny's also, also pretty funny, Oogs can be pretty funny. Um, I think guy like Ashy sometimes tries a bit hard. He's uh, quite persistent with his banter, but <laughs> nevertheless, he has his moments. Karen Healy asks, will you try American football? Well, I think obviously it's too late to make that transition to football now. Having said that, I've actually, uh, one of my best friends from Saris is now playing for the Jets. So uh, he seems to think that a lot more rugby players could make the transition. However, no, I'm uh, very happy playing rugby. Jamie Lewis asks, how was the opening of Moritz Boker's man cave? He actually talks about the man cave, but we've actually discovered it's more his wife's office. As, uh, there's a lot of potpourri and throw pillars going down in the man cave. Will Stockland, Ask, there's a Maori saying, if you want to catch a fish, think like a fish. Do you think an understanding of what makes an opponent tick is the best way to beat them? But yeah, I think your understanding of what the opponent's going to do and what they intend to do to counter what you're going to do is, is pivotal. I think uh, the amount of time spent on analysis is, is key to a success of a team and you don't like to leave any stone unturned. Guy Warren asks, what, what gets you pumped up before a game? Well, I think uh, Twickenham's an, an amazing venue and uh, there's no better rugby atmosphere in the world, so kept running out those tunnels with the, the flamethrowers going off and the music with the crowd buzzing is uh, truly an exceptional feeling and uh, one I'll never forget. Jill Adams asks, can you cook? Will, will we ever see you on Celebrity MasterChef? Um, I can cook. I like to think I do most of the cooking at home, yeah, which won't impress my wife, but uh, there's a few dishes which I have in my locker. Spaghetti bolognese is obviously a, a tried and tested family recipe uh, going through the ages. Um, other than that, my lamb dishes, rack of lamb, um, lamb kleptico, my wife being Greek, and uh, the other favourites. Food related as well from Ben Trickett. Do you like tacos? Tacos. I do like burritos. Um, Tripoli in London. Um, it's obviously an American franchise. is a, a favourite of uh, me and the friends. Difficult one here from Jack Settle. Who is the person you look up to most in England camp for advice? Probably Andy Farrell. Chris Gregory. In the 10, 12, 13 sandwich, you are essentially the filling. What sandwich filling would you be and why? Uh, turkey breast. With a hint of mayonnaise and uh, piccadilly. Finally, another food lettered one from Sarah Boomgard. If you were a candy, which would you be? Toffee apple. Any explanation? Sweet on the outside with a good fruity mix in the core. Cheers, bro. Thanks a lot. <laughs>